Alright guys, what's going on? Redstorm's Assassin here with another Minecraft video for you guys. So sorry I haven't uploaded in a couple of weeks. It's been super busy and just got back from a trip just last week. And so I'm kind of I'm just still trying to recover from that. I'm, I'm sick right now, so that's why my voice is a bit scratchy and I'm stuffed up. So hopefully that won't bother the video too much. But let's go ahead and get started. So what I brought for you guys today is a tutorial for a trap that I built a little while back. It's called the Death by Door Trap. I'll put the link in the... Uh, description below and I'll probably put an annotation up on the screen for you guys to click but basically how it works is you have a door and when you open the door um, you'll fall into a trap which is will be in this hallway right here and on the other side you just have a regular room which will be acting as the bait so when they open the door they fall into the trap so this isn't a guaranteed kill but it's just kind of fun because not many people expect a trap from a wooden door so let's go ahead and start uh, hopefully most of you guys have seen the video if not uh, go ahead and check that out but uh, let's go ahead and get started. So what you want to do is first you want to figure out where you're going to put the piston uh, for the block update detection system. So usually since the door opens on this side, I want to put the piston on the other side here since it'll be covered up by the door. So that's where we're going to put our piston. But first off, let's go ahead and dig out a space for us to put all of our redstone wiring. So I'm going to do that and I'll start the video back up when I finish. All right, so I've dug a room hopefully that's big enough to fit all of our redstone circuitry in so we can actually make the trap work and uh, so yeah let's go ahead and go over a couple of the items we're gonna need so we're gonna need obviously some sticky pistons for both the trap and the redstone circuitry our natural blocks to cover up the holes like stone and dirt and we're also gonna need our redstone items like our um, redstone torch dust diode and we should have a button here so there we go and a button and then we're also gonna need torches pickaxes, shovels, and our basic items like that. So let's go ahead and get started. So what we're going to build first is we're going to build our butt switch and a T flip-flop so we can connect the two together and that's what's going to make the trap work. So first off we have to figure out where we want to place our butt switch and we want to place it right behind this door here where it's being covered. So all we have to do is place our sticky piston facing this way. I have a tutorial on how to build this exact mechanism in another video called the host butt switch tutorial. So if you want to check that out I'll put the link in the description and I'll probably put an annotation up on the screen for you guys so you can check that out if you want to figure out how to do this step by step. Otherwise just follow along and uh, hopefully uh, you'll be able to pause the video, rewind it and learn from it. So all we want to do is first off we want to place a sticky piston with a natural block or whatever type of block you want right in front of it and uh, we're going to dig a hole right in front of that and place a redstone torch. Now we're going to grab our diode, place it directly facing that way away from it, set the tick to 2 and we're going to grab ourselves some dirt, place one right here, there's a torch on top of that and another one on top of that because that's where it's going to be transmitting our redstone um, signal from. So from up here, as you can see, the dirt block is still transmitting the signal and we'll just link it over here to our butt switch. Let me make it day so like some creeper doesn't come and attack us. Alright, so that's our butt switch. That's really simple. All it is is just like that and we can test it and it works wonderfully. So now all we have to do is build our T flip flop now that the butt switch is done and we're going to build it facing this way. So we'll try and keep it kind of together in one piece. So what we're going to do is place a block here one here and one here so we kind of have a staircase covering this redstone torch from the butt switch and then we'll go up top here place a redstone torch some dust and a diode facing this way set the tick to three grab ourselves uh, some more redstone dust place it here place a block just like that so that's our basic outline of the T flip flop then we just have to place a couple more blocks and a sticky piston and we'll be good to go so now all we have to do is go up here grab ourselves a sticky piston place it just like so facing away from it so it'll push out automatically grab a dirt block place it on top of there and a redstone torch a button here and a dirt up top so now that's our T flip flop you can feel free to pause and rewind the video and to try and figure out how to build this um, uh, hopefully you guys caught on. I know I'm going a bit fast, but I have another video on how to do it uh, So uh, go check that out if you're having trouble still So that's the T flip-flop now all we have to do is hook it up to our bud switch How exciting all right, so all we have to do for that is we'll place some redstone dust on top of the block We put here and we'll go around back place a, another diode Don't do anything with the tick leave it at one and then we'll link our redstone wiring from our butt switch up to our T flip-flop. So by doing that, we'll just come over to this side where we have our other redstone torch and the block that is transmitting our other redstone signal on the other side, and we'll transmit another one over on this side. So all we have to do is we'll link it up this way, 
then we want to invert the current using a redstone torch just like so hopefully you guys are following along and we'll connect it up this way and now our t flip flop and butt switch are connected so we'll go ahead and test that by opening the door here just like so and it works cool so our butt switch is functional and we're good to go so now all we have to do is build the trap itself so this is really really easy all we have to do is put our pistons in the ground and uh, hope they work so we'll go over here we'll dig out a space for our pistons and we'll put one two three four five pistons just like so in a row put some blocks in front of them because they should be extended automatically when the door is closed so all we have to do now is uh, link our t flip flop up to our um, area so once this t flip flop is on right we should have a redstone current going out this way and then we want to invert the current so we'll go ahead and do that so we'll just place our redstone wiring beneath it we'll link it across like so and uh we're good to go look at that so now whenever the door is closed um the floor will be closed like so when we open the door it will fall in so what we want to do actually though is we kind of want to make this go a little bit slower so i'm going to um do this this is the best way to do it one two three there we go and that'll actually slow it down i believe okay my bad i, I know what to do to fix the problem um since it's not activating um the torch below all we have to do is we'll destroy the torch here, place a block out, put some redstone dust on the side, and we'll place a torch there, and now the problem will be fixed. Just like so, and see now we have a little bit of a delay, so that's nice. So let's make it so that this is always on um, of the, whenever the door is closed, but when we open the door, there we go, it works just like that. So now it has a little bit of a delay, and we're good to go. So now all we have to do is we cover up our wiring, and we will be set after we put that back there we go so now if we cover actually you know what this is gonna be a problem we'll just do that let it drop and we'll cover it back up and now we're good to go we just cover this up and uh voila the trap is done guys it's done that's as easy as that so hopefully most of you guys caught on to that and uh uh, I'll go ahead and dig this out just like so so if you want to put lava down here or the gravity trap that will collect their items It's up to you guys, but uh, that's the trap itself guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video That was a quick little tutorial for you guys. Sorry about my voice um, Hopefully it didn't bother too many of you guys and um, Yeah, so I hope to see you guys next time before I kill myself. Okay, hang on Alright, well thanks for watching the video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned something from this tutorial. If you have any more questions or comments, leave them in the section below and I'll try and get back to you guys as quickly as I can. Sorry about my voice and being sick and all. Um, I was trying to wait to do the video, but uh, it doesn't sound like I'm getting better any quicker. So yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys want to, go ahead and subscribe if you already haven't, if you want to be notified of future videos. Uh, if you like the video, go ahead and click the like button. And uh, yeah, uh, I'm really pumped and just waiting for Tripwires to come out. I'm going to be able to create a bunch of cool traps with that and all the other new updates in the future. So yeah, thanks for watching the video, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.